back to our channel, Six Miles to Go. It is Chelsea here, and I have for you today five money-saving tips, winter edition this time. If you haven't watched my fall edition, I will put that down in the description. I'm excited to share with you guys what I like to save on in the winter because, as you know, I love saving money, and I love telling you guys how you can save money. So, number one. The first thing that I always save money on and always buy in the winter are clothes. Right now you can find wonderful deals on clothes. Um, children's clothes, women's clothes, men's clothes, sports gear, hats, gloves, coats, you name it. Uh, shoes, uh, like boots and dress shoes, those two our kids tend to go through um, pretty often. And so um, all those things you can get deep discounts on. What I do for my kiddos is I always buy them one size up. So when I'm looking through the clearance for my two-year-old, I will look for either, he just turned two, so we'll do either 2T clothes or 3T clothes. For my four-year-old, I will be buying her size five clothes and so on and so forth. That way I have a bunch of clothes when the next winter rolls around and I'm not spending any extra money. When I'm talking deep discounts, I'm gonna show you some of the deals that I scored. All right guys, welcome to my closet. Show you a couple of the items that I've recently purchased because like I said, I buy all of my um, spring, summer clothes in the fall and usually all of my winter clothes. Um, at this time when they're trying when stores are trying to clear up their winter in inventory um that's when i'm buying the clothes because they're super cheap now i did find some spring and summer things that were really cheap i went to uh, forever 21's website they had uh i can't remember like 50 percent off maybe more than that um, of their clearance items and i found some cute tops that would be good to wear um, under a cardigan in the fall and winter months some of these i will bust out during the spring this is a really cute white top i cannot wait to wear it um, I'm a mom, so I will be wearing that with a tank top under it. <laughs> and then I went to JCPenney's. Uh, let's see how much this one was. Uh, there we go, $5.19. See it? That's 80% off. Yeah. And it was 50% off of that price for this. Just, it's just a tank top. It's nothing fancy. Let's refocus that. There we go. And I got one in this color, same price. Okay, another thing I scored were, were some shorts. These I'm gonna pull out so you can see a little bit better. And these were da, 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 for 85% off at $4.79 and I got half off of that price. Um, these shorts are a light wash shorts that I got. These are for myself. I actually didn't find that much for the kids when I went out, um, but I will be going out again. These were $3.19 and that was 90% off and then I got 50% off of that. Now this one is kind of a bonus. I did not include this in kind of my five number that I'm giving you your five money or the five money saving tips in the winter, but I wanted to share this with you because this was a great buy. Luggage is also another thing that is good to buy in the winter. Not a lot of people traveling in the winter and especially with COVID. I found this really cute um, hard outside. I know that's not the te technical term, but I cannot think of the name right now. And I went there for the tan one and then they the only one they had was this one. And this deep purple color is actually my, my favorite color. Um, it has wheels that glide really easily. I really like that. Um, and on the inside, what really drew me to this one when I was looking online is I'm gonna show you there's like a fantastic compartment. This is what really drew me to this one is they have all these little compartments over here. Sorry, that was the strap for my camera. Um, and I thought this would be perfect for um, our little weekend trips that we plan on taking because I can put my makeup in here, my jewelry in here, my hair stuff in here. I really like that feature. This one was $79 and I had a gift card for $75 and then I also had a coupon for signing up. I purchased this at Macy's for their reward, rewards program. I think that was 15 to 25% off. So grand total what I paid for this really nice luggage um, piece is $2, you guys, $2. The original retail value of this is $250. All right, the number two thing that you need to purchase in the winter to save money are toys. 
you guys after Christmas sales they always say oh the best sales of the season and same thing with Black Friday sales you know want to know when the best toy sales are in the winter I found this out last year my son's birthday is at the end of January I was looking for presents for him and I was surprised at how many toys I found for such deep discounts I literally came out of the store with a cart full of toys for under $50 Yes, a cart full of toys for under $50. I saved some of those toys and gave them to my kids for Easter. I gave some of them to them for Christmas and some for their birthdays. So I'm going to show you the two toys that I found, one from last year and one from this year. I got this little talking robot toy, okay? Super cute. Um, and honestly, last year, this is the one, one of the ones I was telling you I got last year. I gave this to my son for his birthday last year. I thought it was a mistake. This was marked at, I believe it was $8. $8 for this little robot, right? And it's a talking robot. You turn it on and it kind of lights up. And then if you push this button, it repeats what you say. Um, and sings songs. There's three different levels on here. So that's for like a baby, a toddler, and a preschooler. Okay, we're going to turn it off. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, it was $8. The original price for this, I think, was $39.96 maybe. Don't quote me on that. But it was close enough to $40 that I was like, $8, really? I found 10 more toys at that same price range um, that were less than $10. It was insane to me. And so now what I do is I, in the winter, I go buy toys for their birthdays, friends' birthdays. You know how you get invited to your kid's birthday party or your kid's friend's birthday party and you don't know what to get them? Uh, in my basement, I have a shelf of just toys that I found on sale. I keep them on that shelf when my kids get invited to, or when my kids get invited to a birthday party for their friends. I um, have them pick a toy off of there if they can. Now, if they know that the child wants something else, we'll go buy it. But if they find something on there, perfect. It, I got it on sale. I'm not spending any extra money. Um, so it's a win-win. I'm gonna show you what I got my son this year for Easter. So this is a little baby shark um, water activated bath toy it sings and it swims my two-year-old loves taking baths so he's he's gonna love this I uh, actually found this on a uh, not a blog but a website I guess it is kind of like a blog um, that I follow that I definitely suggest bookmarking it is called hip to save they post some fantastic deals there in addition to that I'm always looking at this time of year too to find good deals on toys clothes and the other things I'm going to share with you anyways this little fish toy, which, you know, in my opinion, it's cute, but it's definitely not worth I, what, over what I paid for it, okay? Around Christmas time, they were selling this for um, between $15 and $30, okay? I can't remember which one. I looked it up, and then I just forgot that fast. That's what happens when you stay up and you binge watch Netflix all night and then try to, like, drink some coffee and get yourself going. They have the receipt right here. Okay, so then they marked it down, it looks like, to uh, $12.97, okay? And so I went to Walmart. I found it online for the sale price, but I went to Walmart, and it was $12.97. So I found the exact same one that was listed online, and I took it up to the checkout, and it, this one rang up $12.97. Well, guess what, guys? I found it online for $4.64, under $5. So, of course, I pull it up on my phone and show the associate, and she uh, marks it down to the price that it was online, which was $4.64. With tax, it ended up being $4.99, still under $5. This will make a perfect toy for my son, and it's way better than spending um, $15 to $30. I know it's a broad price range, but even $15 um, for this toy, I would much rather spend under $5. So if you have not looked at your local toy clearance at your local store, Target, Walmart, wherever you shop, check it out because I guarantee you're going to find some amazing deals that can save you money throughout the year. Number three, after Valentine's Day sales. Do you guys celebrate Valentine's Day? My husband and I kind of go back and forth. I'm not a big Hallmark holiday type person. I think it's personally, I, I just don't see what all the hype is about. I'm like, if we want to, you know, celebrate our love, we can do that any day of the week or any day of the year. But you know, whatever. But a lot of people go goo goo for Valentine's Day. Um, 
our kids normally have school parties and tons of stuff revolving around Valentine's Day. And so I oftentimes will shop the year before for their Valentine's Day stuff for the following year. So in my video about my February lesson plans, I showed you guys those really cute um, build your own Valentine's mailboxes that I got. Those were under, uh, I'd say somewhere around between um, at the high end, maybe $2, the low end, maybe $0.50. Cents. I know I wouldn't have paid more than that for those. Um, but normally they retail for more than that. So I snagged a few of those last year. Last year, before all this COVID stuff, me thinking, you know, be trying to be proactive, trying to be a good mom, I'm like going out to get Valentine's for my kids to hand out for their class um, parties. This year, little did I know, in a few weeks, or a few months, depending on when I, or not a few months, but a few weeks, that um, life was getting ready to change and my kids would be at home right now. But um, maybe they'll have an opportunity to use these at some point in the future, hopefully. I went to Walmart and I have other bags of things that I bought on Valentine's Day. Some little trinkets, you guys, like the little um, bouncy balls, little things of Play-Doh that they sell, uh, stickers, uh, tattoos those things are great to purchase because guess what you can save those for Easter basket fillers um, even getting your um, candy getting that after Valentine's Day uh, going to the after Valentine's Day sales to get candy that's gonna save you a lot of money because you can use that in your Easter baskets Easter's only a couple months away candy's gonna keep for then those little bouncy balls little tattoos little stickers all those things are great for your, to fill up your kids Easter baskets little toys that you can get discounts on so um, that those things I look for too after Valentine's Day as well I have a bunch of stuff in a bin downstairs I honestly I was lazy and I just didn't feel like bringing it all up here um, the little stampers, I showed you that in my uh, February lesson plan video. You can get those dirt cheap, you guys. Get a bunch of those, especially if you have kids at home right now that are virtual schooling, like the little ones. Those stampers, they love to just stamp with them. It's cleaner than paint. They're not going to be, you know, throwing it everywhere, you know, if you teach them to do one at a time or if you sit down with them, um, which is really simple to do. Those are great if your kids are bored and they want something to do. Take them in the car with you when you're on road trips. Put the stamps in a container, put some paper in there, get little trays and, and let them stamp on the road, you know, to keep them occupied and from whining, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Over and over again. Um, yeah, so those are our one thing that I always snag. Um, that would be perfect for a teacher, a preschool teacher, because you can get a ton of them, enough for your whole class. Um, but what I brought to show you that I got last year at the After Valentine's Day sales, which are coming up, and don't forget from my last tip video in the fall, wait at least five days after the holiday to even look at those sales because that's when you're going to get the best deals. It's going to be um, at least a week or more after the holiday. A lot of times they try to entice you right after the holiday to clear that inventory out, but they're really not giving you a huge discount. And if you're like me and you like that huge discount, wait at least five days, then check out those Valentine's Day sales. So at Walmart, okay, I got little packs of Valentine's. This is 16 Scratch and Smell Sweet Treat uh, Scented Valentine's. Those look really cute. Okay, this one is Button Valentine's Day, uh, Valentine, Va Button Valentine's Day, what am I saying? Button Valentine's. These are super, this is like making me really sad, you guys, that the kids are not in school right now, because these are really, really adorable. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that the teachers do something um, for Valentine's Day so the kids don't completely miss out. Um, and this one, this is, oh, I got one more variety. This, these have gel clings on them. Those are kind of cute unicorns. I actually might send these with my four-year-old. She's actually in preschool and she does have a Valentine's Day party. Um, and then this one is unicit or unicorn. There's like unikitties, uni mermaids, um, Valentine's Day cards. And these have tattoos on them. So total, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these. Ten of these, okay? And they were between 62 cents was the most expensive box and 49 cents was the cheaper box. And looking on here, I also got a Valentine's Day book 
for 202. It was originally 606, and a um, little reader ink. It comes like the magic ink books if you've seen those before. I got one of those for a dollar fifty-seven, and it was originally six twenty-eight. I'm sorry, the book was eight oh eight. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. Um, so those are huge savings uh, on those after Valentine's Day sales. If you have never waited to go to the after Valentine's Day sales, if you're one of those people that as soon as the 15th hits, you're like, oh, I'm going to get it out here and I'm going to get these sales. Give it a few days. I promise you will get better deals. Number four small appliances. If you need small appliances, instead of getting them during Christmas time when they are full price or maybe even marked up a little bit because that does happen around holidays, wait until winter. Winter is a great time to buy your small appliances. I'm going to show you a uh, appliance that we recently got. I'm going to be sharing a review. I'm super excited about this. It is a rotisserie, an air fryer, and it does some other stuff. Let's take a look at it. All right, guys, so here it is. This is the Bella Pro Series touchscreen air fryer uh, pizza oven with a rotisserie. The rotisserie is really what made me most excited about it. I love rotisserie chickens, and I'm excited that we can now fix these at home. Um, so this was uh, originally, I believe, $150. We got it for under $50. And I will be posting a review about this, but this is just an example of a small appliance that you can get super cheap in the winter that, of course, if you buy around Christmas or any other time, it's going to have that markup on it. So when Alan and I were first married, um, we were broke, broke. I'm not talking about just broke. We were broke, broke, okay? Um, and so I learned really fast that I needed to find when to get good deals and how to get good deals so that we could make it on the money that we had. And so that was when I first discovered that the winter time is the best time to purchase a small appliances. I purchased two crock pots from uh, Meyer. probably, when was that? That was over 10 years ago, you guys, for under $10, okay, or under $20. So each crock pot was under $10, the total was under $20. I'm still using those crock pots today. Another thing that I purchased during this time, a small appliance during winter time, was our Ninja Blender. Okay, those things are expensive. I've been looking at them for years and just realistically, um, that was probably eight years or so ago, we could not afford, you know, over $100 for a blender. That wasn't even in the budget. Well, I was walking around Kroger doing my grocery shopping, and I kid you not, guys, I saw the Ninja Blender, one of the ones that I had been wanting, okay, under $40. I had to do a double take. I almost bought two of them, but like I said, we were broke, broke, so I didn't have money to buy two because I was like, I'm going to buy another one of these and gift it to somebody. Nowadays, if I would have seen that, I would probably bought three of them and gave them, given them away to someone because that's just such a steal, right? You buy three of them, and that's basically the same price you would normally pay for one. So anyways, uh, under $50 for that, still using it today. So small appliances are definitely something that you want to check out during the winter time to see if you can score a deal on something that you need. I, the last thing that you need to look at to save money right now is winter fun stuff, okay? What am I talking about, winter fun? Um, winter stuff in general really could go in this category, but I'm talking sleds, the little things to make igloos and snowballs with. All of that stuff is going to be marked down here in the next few weeks. Not right now. It probably will not. But here in the next few weeks, towards the end of winter, these are the things that you want to snag up. I found some really wonderful winter toys for my kids for under a dollar. Um, generally, like sleds and those things, they're not super expensive anyways. So you can find really good deals on those. Um, also things like yarn. I want to teach my uh, girls to crochet crochet and so towards the end of the winter here in probably a few weeks I'll start looking for yarn because that will be going on clearance just because as the weather gets warmer nobody is thinking about making um you know a knit or a you know crocheted scarf so those things um also snow blowers salt 
shovels, all those things here in the next few weeks. Keep your eye on because I guarantee they will be very, very cheap. Cheaper than what they were a month ago or two months ago or currently because we're in the midst of, you know, snow season, right? So guys, I hope that you found this video to be helpful, informative, and help you save money. I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day.